You guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and I am tremendously excited because in this episode, we are talking about the latest batch of imprint films that has just arrived at Serial at Midnight headquarters. It's the horror wave. Everything here is horror related. I guess this is imprint's way of celebrating Halloween as we gear up for the October scary movie season, though a lot of us do this all year round. Uh, if you look to my left, and you're right, unless you're watching this through a mirror or a periscope, I don't know. Uh, this is every single imprint films and TV release to date. We have covered everything. If you're wondering where you can find comprehensive, uh, complete coverage of the imprint films line or just of imprint in general, Serial at Midnight is your source. Every single release. We got them all. We've talked about them all. There's a playlist on our YouTube homepage, if you go to uh, youtube.com slash Serial at Midnight, uh, you'll find a playlist with all that beautiful imprint coverage right there. So what we're going to do in this episode is uh, I'm, we're just going to look at this stuff because really and truly this showed up just a few minutes ago and uh, I collected it off my front porch. I opened it. I took this, the shrink wrap off of them. I checked each disc in my Region A locked Blu-ray player to see if it played they all played fine so take from that what you will these uh, were no issue for me but I am tremendously excited about digging into these because I haven't even looked at the I've looked at nothing I wanted to do that with you guys I wanted us to share this experience so let's explore these together hammer horror four gothic horror films we've got Countess Dracula we've got hold on, let me hands of the Ripper twins of evil and vampire circus look at this gorgeous packaging. You know what is included in this? Actually, I'm going to save it. We'll, we'll discover it together. Let's, ah, uh, yep. Smells like a new guitar case. That's, that's, <laughs> I love the smell. You know, we are tactile people. We like all of our senses. I like to touch it and to feel it and to smell it. <laughs> Some of you guys understand. Okay. Let's do these in uh, numerical order. Cause imprint always numbers these. We get the number of the entry. We get the year that the film was made. They give us the pertinent information for who was in the movie. All right, let's 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 be efficient, speedy with this, so this is not a three-hour video. Countess Dracula. Here is the front of the box. Uh, I'll show you the back, and if you want to freeze frame this, freeze frame. You can. 1080p presentation, audio commentary by Ingrid Pitt and critics Kim Newman and Stephen Jones. Another audio commentary with Ingrid Pitt, director Peter Sasdy, uh, the writer and the author of the book. Uh, audio comment, a third audio commentary by Hammer Historians Jonathan Rigby and Kevin Lyons. That's new for 2021. Audio, so much. They have archival and new features. It's probably what I should have just said. Uh, here's our disc. I just do it like this. Here's our disc. And here is the interior artwork. All right. Uh, I'll put this back in the box as we move on to the next release. Hands of the Ripper. Here's the back with all the special features. For efficiency's sake, I'll just kind of breeze over it. Two audio commentaries, Kim Newman, Stephen Jones, Jonathan Rigby, Kevin Lyons. Uh, the Devil's Bloody Plaything, Possessed by the Hands of the Ripper, a documentary. Um, a new interview, well, it doesn't say new, interview with director Peter Sasdy, Flesh and Blood. Uh, a stills Gallery, UK television introduction, audio only. Very cool. Um, original UK, US tra trailers. Oh, show you the inside. And the next one, Twins of Evil. Getting this is tremendously exciting. Uh, Hammer is. I I'm a huge Hammer fan. This is justice for Hammer, right? Uh, let me show you the back of the package and you can freeze frame for all those special features. Uh, another commentary by Kim Newman and Stephen Jones, Jonathan Rigby and Kevin Lyons. Feature, a feature length documentary exploring Hammer's Karnstein trilogy. This is a 2021 documentary, The Flesh and the Fury, exposing with the letter X, uh, Twins of Evil. Feature length documentary about the Karnstein trilogy. That's Oh my gosh. Uh, a visual essay by Cat Ellinger, Satanic Dis uh, Decadence and the Legacy of Ship. I'm not going to read all that to you guys. I'm going to hold that up for you. That's a, a mouthful. Uh, the props that Hammer built. Super <laughs> Super 8 version. Wow. Oh, I got to show you the inside. 
I think all of these are going to be uh, YouTube safe, I believe. That's not always the case. It, is, it seems that it always is the case for imprint. This is the one that was the most exciting for me when I discovered what I discovered. So this is Vampire Circus, which hooray for Vampire Circus on Blu-ray. Here's the special features. Um, audio commentaries by all this, the, the people we've already mentioned. The Bloodiest Show on Earth, a documentary about the making of the Vampire Circus. Uh, Gallery of Grotesqueries, a brief history of Circus of Horrors. Um, revisiting the House of Hammer, Britain's legendary horror magazine featurette. Oh, I'm going to hit that one again. Revisiting the House of Hammer, Britain's legendary horror magazine. Featurette with author, uh, film historian Philip Nutman. Behind the Mirror. Okay, I'm going to cut to the one that got me the most excited. Bonus disc. Flesh and Blood. The Legacy. Was it? The Hammer Heritage of Horror. Uh, this is a 1990s document. I think it's 94. This is a director's cut of the Flesh and Blood documentary with 40 minutes of additional footage. It's like two and a half hours long now. A two and a half, you want to get into Hammer, you don't know a whole lot about Hammer, you want to get into Hammer, I can think of no better entry point than a two and a half hour documentary about Hammer horror. Uh, I've seen, full disclosure, I have a copy, I think I had a bootleg copy way back in the day. Shh, don't tell anybody. Um, they have interviews, multiple interviews, man. If this was all that was a part of this particular release wave for uh, for imprint, it would be enough. But we have a second box set. This is Hammer. This is going to be our Silver Screen. What are they? Silver Screams Cinema. So as you gather by the title, this is going to be classic black and white horror. So I that's this is I'm so excited about this it's Bella Lugosi it's monogram I love monogram I talked about monogram recently because I showed you guys my book the monogram checklist that has all the the names of every monogram movie uh I'll hold it here I'll do a tour of this box it's beautiful these box sets are absolutely gorgeous this is the uh rundown of what's included in the special features this is detachable I'm not going to detach it well what's behind here all right, let's do it. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Oh, there's a little bit of glue here. Let me pop that glue off. Okay. That's pretty sharp. Just for... I'm not ready. I'm going to put that back. Okay. Uh, let's explore these movies. Start at the beginning. They're each... So we have three discs. Or, yeah, three three Blu-rays, three cases. They're double features. Each It's six movies on three, three uh, Blu-rays with lots of... Um, Here's how they do this. Movie one. Let's say we're at a, let's pretend we're at a drive-in double feature. It's your A picture right here, and then stay tuned for the B picture. Get your popcorn. Anyway, <laughs> so they've listed the special feature. Here's the disc itself. They've listed all the special features on the inside. So I'll hold this up for you guys. But uh, we're looking at the, the Phantom Speaks. We've got uh, audio commentary by Tim Lucas. It's dated 2021. Audio commentary by Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. There they are again. Bonus 1944 movie, The Lady and the Monster. A second. So there's three movies in this set. Uh, the, the Vampire's Ghost. Um, audio commentary by film historians Tom Weaver and Gary Rhodes. That's 2021. Whew, these guys do great commentaries. All right. Here's our next installment. Uh, Return of the Ape Man with Bella Lugosi and John Carradine and Valley of the Zombies. Looks like we're dealing... It's the same, same art. That's okay. So Return of the Ape Man, we have an audio commentary by Tom Weaver, Gary Rhodes, and Steve Cronenberg. And then Valley of the Zombies, we have an audio commentary, audio commentary by film historian Tim Lucas and a second audio commentary with fan horror fantasy authors Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. Kim Newman and Stephen Jones all over the silver screams. It was all over the entire wave, the imprint wave. Uh, third box from this collection is uh, She Devil and Unknown Terror. And these are the special features inside. We have for She Devil um, commentary by Kim Newman, Stephen Jones, Tales of Tomorrow episode. Uh, the Miraculous Serum, based on the science fiction short story The Adaptive Ultim Ultimate, 1952 Standard Definition. Uh, Escape, radio anthology episode The Adaptive Ultimate. So, okay. So they're giving us other 
other parts of that story, other appearances of that story. The Unknown Terror comes with uh, audio commentary by Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. So, wow. They just locked themselves in, in a room for like a week and did audio commentaries. Okay, I'm going to move that here. <sighs> we are not even close to being done. Brotherhood of Satan. I want to say it like the church lady from Saturday Night Live. The Brotherhood of Satan. Um, <laughs> sorry or not sorry? I, I, You know what? I'm not sorry. So this is a 1971 movie. This is uh, L.Q. Jones, Anna Capri. Let's see. Um, I've seen, I, you know, I've seen this movie. I'm trying to remember if I, what I want to say about it and if I feel like I should even be doing that right now. Here's the exterior and the interior artwork. Here is the special feature. That was the chair. Now I can't get it to, to, to do it again. Uh, pres 2K scan. Ooh, new 2K, uh, new 2K scan. Audio commentary by Troy Hoarth and Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson. The Devil You Know inside LQ... LQ Jaff Productions with author film historian Justin Humphreys, film author and critic Kim Newman on the Brotherhood of Satan and the theatrical trailer. So the disc reflects the cover art and there's the interior art. All right, I feel good about this. We're moving at a steady pace. One of the reasons that I feel such urgency when imprints arrives is because these things are limited. These tend to be limited to a, a certain number. They don't tend to be. They always are. And they're serving the entire world. And so they go quick. And I don't want anybody to miss out on them. So uh, I feel this really... I used to want to take my time and watch the movies and give reviews and like critiques and put them in context because I think context is super important when talking about any movie. Now I'm like, I got to get this before the people. I gotta let them know. So, hints, hints today, like right after they came, I'm like, you know, opening them up, checking the discs on my player. Uh, I'm just opening away. Haunted. This is the 1995 movie. I've so I'm not. I haven't seen this. It's got a young. Um, oh, what's her name? Kate Beckinsale, uh, who would go on to huge success with serendipity no i'm just i do really like serendipity with john cusack and kate beckinsale but no i was to say the underworld movies um aiden quinn kate beckinsale anthony andrews sir john gilgood anna massey alex Lowe. all right so here's uh, haunted we have uh i'm expecting is kim newman on this one too Yes, he is. Well, first of all, two aspect ratios. The original straight negative transfer, which is in 166, uh, and the theatrical version, which is 185, your traditional, you know, uh, widescreen, you know, um, with alternate color grading. So you have two different transfers, two different color gradings. Very interesting. That's a, see, that's a very like film nerd kind of a thing. And that's not, I don't mean that derogatorily. I mean, that is a compliment. Imprint is made for not your casual, like, oh, maybe I'd watch that. It's made for the people who really love movies. They want to know when these movies were made. They want to know as much about the movies as they can. Uh, that is a very cool thing that they have included because the, the color grading is such a... People argue about this stuff all day long, you know, like a... A new movie will come out on 4K and they've given it a new color grading. And then it's just like bickering among the community. Well, I prefer this grading. Well, they've given you two of them here, which is pretty great. Um, audio commentary with Kim Newman and Stephen Jones. Seeing things, filming haunted, uh, feeling things, acting haunted, and hearing things, scoring haunted. So that's going to be your interviews with the cinematographer, uh, actor Alex Lowe, and the interview with the composer. Or interview with the, and interview with the composer, not just a composer. Uh... And then Vintage Making of Haunted Featurette, Still Gallery. Oh, got to show you the inside. All right. I, I should say, in case it's not clear, we'll be circling around to, to cover all of these in greater depth in the future. This is not our last stop for a lot of this stuff uh i've i've scaled back on the review paloozas and i've started doing these uh quick picks and i really like it and you guys seem to like it too because we get a lot of engagement with our quick picks which is exciting and you know it's a good idea too because then if i want to reference the awakening with charlton heston and Susanna york 
I have a video just about that. You know, I'd be like, hey, here's a here's a link to, and that's all it is, which is actually really good for me, for YouTube, and for like sharing it. You know, so it's a uh, it's it's a good thing. A film by Mike Newell. This is 1970. Oh, it's 1980. Okay. Um, Egyptian horror. I, I really like this interior artwork. Which do you guys like better? This one? Be we're at the eye doctor. Better here, better here. Better here, better here. Um, the evil one must not live again. The awakening is people. No, just kidding. This is a Soylent Green reference for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, we've got a an audio commentary. It's, it's just funny at this point. Kim Newman and Stephen Jones. Reincarnate, uh, adapting the jewel of the seven stars, an interview with author historian Richard Heft and the nameless one, scoring The Awakening, an interview with the or uh, orchestrator Nancy Beach. Here's the interior. And there's, uh, yeah. I, I love myself. I love me some Egyptian horror. The Mummy, that's probably where it comes from, because I'm such a Universal Monsters fan. The Mummy and Karloff and then all the sequels. Some of the sequels are pretty good. Uh, last, this, here's we're going to wrap it up. And of course, it's Stephen King's The Dead Zone, which means I get to do my Christopher Walken impression. You're going you're gonna to buy a movie in 2021. 20, it's going to be The Dead Zone. It's going to have a lot of special features, commentary, with Kim Newman. Listen, does it have a commentary with Kim Newman? It does! It does have a comment. Okay, audio commentary with Stephen Jones and Kim Newman. 2K scan, so it's the new 2K scan. Looking past the future, filming The Dead Zone. Interview with cinematographer Mark Irwin, music producer, uh, engineer James Guthrie. From Coma to Cola. <laughs> I've lost it. Scarring The Dead Zone. Interview with the cinematographer. No, I've already did that. Uh, interview interview with uh, the composer discussing Michael Kamen's score. Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to hold this up. I realize also that I have stopped holding these up to you guys so you can see the back of them and I'm not going back and I'm not starting this video over again. Uh, four featurettes. Memories from the Dead Zone. The look of the Dead Zone. Visions and horror from the Dead Zone. The politics. That's uh, very bad. Everybody wants to talk politics. You're on this side. You're on that side. I'm on the dead side. So, which which wing are you? I'm in the dead wing. I'm in the dead zone. All right. I mean no disrespect to this movie. This is a classic. And it spun off a whole TV series too, which I also have. Uh, let's look at the interior. Oh, this is nice. Wow. <laughs> Wowie, wow. Oh, I, I don't, I, I see things and then they happen. All right, guys, we've had a lot of fun here today, but let's not forget <laughs> why we're here. It is to celebrate imprint films on Blu-ray. These are all fresh arrivals. I am giddy like, a, oh my goodness. I just remembered. I got a, a nice little shout out on Imprint's social media platforms. I'm going to have to show you guys on uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. They use the quotes for me about Imprint. So I'm going to put that up here. Uh, very cool to be associated, any association with Imprint. I love this company. They're, they're a label from uh, Viavision. And these are Australian releases in case you don't know. In case you're, you know, maybe this is your first Imprint video with us. This stuff comes from Australia, um, but if you saw the big, some, some people comment without watching the videos and they'll be like, is that region free? And I'll have mentioned that it was. Um, I check this in my region A player. This is the second time I'm mentioning this. I check this in my region A player, every disc loaded and played fine. I scanned through the chapters, played fine. So uh, take that for what you will, but this is tremendously exciting for cinephiles all around the world. All around the world. Uh, and I would love to know what you're most excited about, which ones you plan to pick up. For me personally, the Hammerbox set with that extended two and a half hour cut of uh, Flesh and Blood, the uh, the documentary about Hammer, and the the Silver Screams collection are 
Mwah, they get the chef's kiss because that is unreal, just unreal. So we're, hey, you know what? It's I'm, it's August as I'm recording this, but we're leading up to that Halloween season. We're going to be talking a lot about these. So stay tuned. More coverage to come. Guys, thank you so much. Uh, if you do, if you know what, if you get a chance to let Imprint know that you appreciate this coverage, even if it's on social media, if there's a, you know, if you go buy their stuff on the v, the Viavision website, if, you, if there's a box that you can say, uh, Cyril at Midnight sent me, just to let them know that you do appreciate this coverage. I really... Uh, like lower I'll lower the curtain here uh, I really do my best to promote these movies not from a like collectible standpoint but from a movie lover standpoint because for me that's the most important thing my collection is an ex extension of my love of movies when stuff like this comes out it's so much love for movies and it makes me very happy so uh, thank you so much take care until next time here's where to go and what to do